When it comes to shooter games on Roblox, you start to realize that there's only a few shooter games that'll be an interest for the average player. Most shooter games by Rove is a decent pick for most players with the exception of Counterblocks because God forbid. that game is literally a trading game with guns and exploits. Other than Rove and a couple of other games, there's really not much out there that might pique an interest of an average player on Roblox, so I decided to dig around the Roblox platform trying to find something good to play. Stating that Calibre is just a randomizer will be the understatement of the entire Gotham genre. In this game, speed is your advantage. You gotta kill fast, run fast, or you're gonna die fast. But even the respawn timer in this game is the shortest I've seen. It took me a while to get used to things going on in this game as the movement is quite different, but if you can adapt to that then you can shred through other players assuming that your aim is good enough already. But my audience range tends to be in the range of around 9 to 12, so I wouldn't expect too much from you. When first joining the game, everything might seem daunting because everyone's fucking zipping around and shooting people. But after you get used to all the movements of running, sliding, and jumping, you start to zip around and shoot people. Overall, this is one of the more solid games out there to play in Roblox, and it's, it's not flawless, but it's still on the very good side of things. This game is still in early development, so there's not much content to play around with, but overall, they've got the basics down really well, and I'm excited to see what this game can become. This is some really fun movement shooters to play around, but if we're looking for movement shooters in Roblox, there's one game that we can't forget, and that would be... Hello, Riverina. Now, I know this game has been covered by a couple of other YouTubers, but even after all the promotion, it managed to get a player count worse than an average day at the Blue Colors 2, so I assume they weren't hard to add it onto the list. First thing that jumped at me is that this game offers a lot of shit to play around with. We got the good old shotgun, the lightning beam, the gun from Doom, sniper from Team Fortress 2, heavy from Team Fortress 2, the cooler version of heavy from Team Fortress 2, and soldier. This American boot just kicked your ass back to run. Definitely one of those pick your poison games, and all of these are worth checking out, except the lightning gun. Fuck the lightning gun, it's boring as hell. I would say my top three are definitely these three. Railgun is super fun to use, and out of those LMG moments where you two shot the enemy and walk away like a fucking boss. The rocket launcher is probably the most evil weapon in the entire game, but I use this weapon with the cope. Projectile, Projectile weapons are, are always more fun, fun than hit scan, game. and Justin was goddamn right about that. And with every single single shot, every every just watch this clip. And for this thing, well. <laughs> 